So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II Zombies video. This is Grizz Zombies. Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome time out there. Now, we have spotted Dr. Straub on the map of the Final Reich. So, if you guys are excited about this, drop a like on this video. January 30th is when it's all going down on PS4. So subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. The location is Heligoland, and the map is called The Deepest Shore. So, Dr. Straub, I had located outside in the village entrance. Take a look at him. Wow, I just would not have expected him to be in the crack here, but there is an achievement for this. We will talk about that in a minute. But look, as he goes around the wall, he just goes into nothingness. He's gone. So how do we explain this in the storyline? These are the two locations that you can get right outside of spawn. There are cracks in the wall that you'll need to pay attention to. Those two in particular, Dr. Straub can be seen in. Now you'll see that I'm on wave four. This can happen to wa on wave eight as well. It just kind of depends when you spot him. And I believe when you spot him is when he'll walk away. Okay, so don't think that if you pass an area, it's gone forever. But nine times out of 10, you actually pass this on your way through these early levels and missed your opportunity. This is the other spot right here. This is the laboratory. This is the window that we saw in the actual trailer when we saw the trailer for The Final Reich. Let's take a look at that. Let that sink in for a minute. Crazy thing about that is I never knew that was what we were talking about to begin with was the appearance of Dr. Straub seeing him in the trailer like that. I was actually genuinely surprised seeing him in a different slit, if you will, in a different slit actually in a building. So there's quite a few around the map. But what's interesting is when you shoot him. Now, I don't understand this red pulse. You can't actually kill him. This red pulse appears and sort of protects him if he's real. This might be an illusion. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below where are we going with this on our way towards DLC 1? That's my question, okay? Because this ultimately was before the casual and the hardcore easter egg when this occurred. This Geistcraft pulse occurs again when you shoot him all the way through. It's not a one time the first time you shoot him, it happens. Do you have to shoot through his Geist shield? Does he have a Geist shield on right here? And that's how you get the achievement. Because I did shoot him and I did not get the achievement, but I imagine if you shoot him long enough, maybe you shoot out his Geistcraft, his Geist shield, and he's maybe shielded just by the same process we got. It's 500 jolts that it cost, and that might be what we're trying to shoot out in order to get the actual achievement. So what's the achievement called? Let's have a look at it. It was given with the leaked achievements, and in the final Reich, find and shoot Dr. Straub. It's called lurking around, and it has him with a knife, you know, doing his thing. But it's not how it appears in the map, you know. I'm going to say that's fake news. But where all the DLC 1 juice gets interesting, and I'm talking juice, is when we leave the command room and we go into the morgue. There's an actual projector here throwing some stuff on the wall. It's just a light. It's highlighting the man that's kind of crucified there onto the wall. But these pictures on the opposite side of the projector are very important and what we want to be paying attention to. Now, I did cover this already in a DLC 1 news video. I will have that linked down in the description box below. So check that out. Next to the man shackled on the wall. Okay, he's not crucified. He's shackled. There's this poster. And this poster has a certain helmet on it that is very important because this is the reward that you get for beating the Panzer Mordor for the first time in the casual Easter egg. Everyone who does that and accomplishes that gets it. You don't have to beat the hardcore version, just the casual version of the Panzer Mordor. But this is the hint towards it. We never knew this until now. But as I'm looking around this entire room, the things that pay the most significance towards DLC 1 are the picture frames. This is where we've actually determined the location of Heligoland in Germany and where it's going to be residing coming up, all right? So I imagine there's going to be some homage to this particular landscape. This is a tourist attraction. This is an area you can look up. Just search Heligoland and you will find it. On the map, the DLC map teaser that we got initially before the DLC 1 trailer for Resistance, this picture, this image was given to us and we'll see that the German Iron Cross up there in red is the location offshore of Germany where our DLC 1 will be taking place. I received intel about the movement of Dr. Straub. He's gone to this foggy island just north of Germany. 
So the blimp blows up. God damn! Boom! This is where we're at, okay? This is where our characters are at at this pinnacle point. They receive intel on the location of Dr. Straub. However, who is giving this information, okay? We can't just say someone has just given them inf this information. Because, initially, in the prologue, Major Hank Redeu was in the trailer with us, and he's the one giving us the information on the dossier for Marie's brother Klaus, okay? That just happened. So, is our boy Major Hank Redeu making a return? We've seen him in headquarters, so he must have survived. But this is one of those questions that just needs to be asked, because if I don't ask it, no one else really is going to. So, we'll figure it out eventually, but I'm just saying, this is a question that needs to be posed. However, the Geist Shield, the Geist Craft, that protects my man here, he doesn't die. I've talked to people who've gotten the achievement. Alright, and this does not kill him. You cannot shoot him anymore, and you just get the achievement at a certain point. So I'm thinking that is what's going on, because I absolutely did not get the achievement, even though I shot him, and uh, I think that's what's happening. So maybe you've played this map a few times. Maybe this is the first time you're knowing that this is a thing, or you've heard of it in the past. Know that you can actually search for Dr. Straub by hunting for him, okay? So as you go through, I'd say below the first 10 rounds, Check these slits that I'm telling you that are in the walls, these inlets, and you'll see them in there, okay? It's quite terrifying, but see if you can get the achievement. Come back to my video and let me know what happened. The next thing I want to talk about is Winter Siege. I feel that in week four, the rewards are really starting to shine, okay? The orders, there's one in particular you can go get that is times two bribes. We know that the contracts where you had to spend armory credits in order to even get them was the only way that you could get a bribe in the past. And that was for the first three weeks of the entire event. I don't know why you do that to your audience, but now in week four, you can also get orders that don't cost anything. You can just pick them up, and this is resetting every day, okay? So it's not just a one-time off. This is every day. You can keep getting more and more of these bribes. And that's where Winter Siege is currently at. It's giving you guys the rewards now that you should have gotten all the first three weeks, but... I don't know, man. It just seemed like it was really money heavy. They were just a little greedy on those first three weeks. And now the fourth week, you can finally earn what you want in the game. So we'll talk highly of it. I'm just saying, that's what it appears like. No bullshit. I mean, after this display during this holiday event and EA having their own problems with the new Star Wars game, it's safe to say that new gambling laws should be talked about. You know, where there's fake problems with gun laws and everything. I feel like something in our realm of society right now that we all can agree upon is that gambling laws need to be talked about in that mix. And it's a big problem because the fan base is getting screwed. And this isn't just in Call of Duty. This is happening almost in every game right now. And it seems like the developers are trying to capitalize as much as they can on this opportunity. So I think the laws should be looked at. And anybody who is a first timer here who's like maybe a lawyer or something. This is something maybe you might want to get into because you can make a lot of money by helping us out. They know it just as well as we know it that it's all about how you spin the narrative. Anyways... Moving on to where we're at in week four, I'm actually going to show you guys the loot that we're supposed to be getting coming up, so I'll show you the content schedule. The times two winner bribe right now, see so you can collect it. It's 30 multiplayer matches. I feel that's still heavy. I know 50 was big, and we wanted it nerfed down to 30, but that's a lot of games, man. That's a lot of time that I'm giving up. There is no free gifts going to be given out in this last week. They're just letting it go. You're not getting anything free. You have to earn it or buy it. That's the only option, so I'm not giving you nothing. But when this event ends, there will be a little bit of time, and probably update 1.08 will come into the mix. We have had 1.07, and we've been on that update for quite some time. So I am expecting something to occur. Double XP was probably the only event we'll see for a while in Zombies. I'm not sure if we're going to hit another cold period all the way up until January 30th. The Orders is another video I did cover. Be sure to check out the channel, man. I did talk about weekly orders in Zombies, and I do think that that should be supported. 100%, I still think that, and I want that video to succeed. I'm really excited for what can come of DLC 1. But this is going to be the make or break factor for me, man. I'm not sure if I'm going to start covering some more content until Treyarch returns in 2018, but I'm not feeling the vibe right now at least in World War II Zombies. So let me know where you guys are at, where your head's at, and let me know what else you think I should be covering. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Violent out.